In just a few days, Big Ed makes his attempt at a comeback and continues his quest for relevance, which never really stopped if you go to his YouTube channel. Big Ed has mystified audiences ever since he first appeared on 90 Day Fiancé last year, both due to his unique appearance and larger-than-life personality. At first, everyone actually seemed to really like Ed, but as the season progressed, his true colors began to show. Can I have a kiss? <laughs> he is known for pulling classic moves like buying toothpaste and a razor as gifts for his fiance, only to later tell her it's because he thinks she has bad breath and needs to shave her legs. Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? After this whole train wreck fell apart and ended, Big Ed took refuge on his YouTube channel, where he proceeded to release bangers. In this video, he reacts to the video that PewDiePie made about him, and let me tell you, Big Ed is a comedic genius. PewDiePie, Big Ed here, listen, I'm here to counter you and critique you. Now Ed's first mistake is assuming that PewDiePie will ever see this video. I think in his mind, the way the internet works, his popularity is so high that PewDiePie is just waiting for a response from Ed. Sounds like a massive simp if you ask me. What? Cringe yourself, man. Your headphones are weird. I feel bad for him, lol, he is trying so hard but most of his jokes aren't even funny and also his edits are awful. Are we even watching the same video? What the hell are you talking about? How the flip is that working out for you? You're putting mayo in your hair. Look at that. At least I have hair, PewDiePie. Get it? Because PewDiePie's bald. Everyone knows that. He got him good there. Good job, Ed. Look at all this Big Ed merch just sitting right on his desk. He sells Big Ed boxing gloves, Big Ed bobbleheads. That doesn't even make any sense. There's no way to bobble his head. So in the next part, Ed totally roasts PewDiePie by putting on a blonde wig that looks nothing like PewDiePie's hair and then starts talking about putting mayonnaise in it or something. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. <laughs> He's 4'11". Okay, PewDiePie. I'm actually... Look, if you, if you didn't notice, there's Big Ed bobbleheads over there that you can purchase at BigEdWear.com. And he also sells masks, so next time you go to the store, you can run in looking like Big Ed. So after 90 Day Fiance, Ed thought to himself, well, everyone on the internet kind of despised me when I was on the show and made fun of me like crazy, so I think that means a lot of people would want to watch me eat mass amounts of food like Nikocado. Just think about this for a second. We live in a world where you can go from being on a reality TV show about having fiancés from other countries to doing mukbang challenges on YouTube. YouTube. Truly incredible. In this video, Ed inhales a bunch of ribs and is only allowed to use one wet nap the entire time. He, he was really giving Joey's World Tour a run for his money. Tangy, like zesty, like, like flavor. My this one's pretty good. This macaroni and good. You need a little vegetable in your diet. You know, all of this has really made me wonder why the hell would Rose ever call it off with this guy? Apparently Ed is all into boxing now, and you know what, Ed, I have a really good idea on how you can get back on top. I don't even know if anyone remembers this anymore, but a few years ago, there was a viral video of a little angry bagel guy. Why is it okay for women to say, oh, you're five feet on dating sites? You should be dead. That's okay. Who said that to you here? Nobody. Of course, I'm not in any position to make this happen, but it would be legendary to see a boxing match between these two. Someone should definitely set that up as co-main event to the Jake Paul-Ben Askren fight. In this video, Ed does a parody of Most Interesting Man in the World, and then accidentally gets elbowed in the head, and then she feels bad about elbowing him, so she rubs poor Big Ed's little head. This guy genuinely thinks that he's some kind of celebrity, and I guess, I guess he is some form of celebrity, and it appears that his ego may have gotten a tad out of control. He's the self-proclaimed king of cameo, he has merch, he does mukbangs, and now he has a new show on the way. Thank you. I kissed your nose. I kissed your nose. I didn't know you were going to do that. I didn't either. 
Now that he's got that ponytail, I'm surprised she wasn't all over him. Are you telling me that if you were in this position, you would be able to resist this? I don't think so. Look at him. He is fully committed to this. He's not expecting rejection at all. Meanwhile, she is literally in fight or flight mode here. Oh, big Ed. I kissed her on the nose. I kissed her nose. In this video, Ed goes to a suspension bridge in some kind of bear outfit and then pretends to fall over the edge. We're going to go to this really cool uh, suspension bridge. Um, but I'm gonna freak him out. It's be pretty funny. So right off the bat, he pretty much admits that he's gonna prank his friend, but it's obvious that his friend is in on it. The whole thing is so half-baked, and Ed is just kind of grasping at straws, but I can't really criticize him for doing a fake prank, because everyone has done fake pranks. People have gotten 27 million views from pretending to carry someone out on a mattress while they're sleeping and putting them in the ocean, as if that's fucking possible. You know, I honestly can't even tell if he's exaggerating or if he just genuinely can't walk straight on this bridge. I like that he put foreshadowing there. I almost forgot why I was even watching the video and then I remembered, oh yeah, he does, it's a prank video or, or something. Nah, nah, come on, don't be stupid. Uh, you better close. stop him. Nah, nah, nah. Better, this guy's on, crazy, man. He's out of control. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, he fell. He oh, fell no, on the ground. Not. There are probably families nearby right now, and their kids are wondering, what the hell kind of species of animal is that? Whatever happened to the bear suit? Where did that go? I think I broke my nut sack. Then look, after this, they actually go through the effort of getting fake casts and slings and shit for, for Ed. I have no idea where he's going with this. None of this makes any sense. I don't even think Ed knows where he's going with this. He's just rolling with the with the post 90 day fiance flow. And speaking of post 90 day, it's actually pretty awesome to see that Rose is doing extremely well, has like 700,000 YouTube subscribers now, and is also living in a much better place. And Ed is over here breaking his nut sack for 40,000 people. Okay, but Ed, I understand that you recently froze some of your sperm. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Rose, I got a vasectomy. I had it done. I like how she's had nothing to do with Ed for a while now, but they keep dragging her onto these shows to talk about how Ed's nuts got cut open. Hey, remember this goofy little guy? Well, he got a vasectomy. What do you what do you think about that? It was awesome. So that's pretty much everything that Ed's been doing on the internet since the end of 90 Day Fiance. And now that he's got this new show starting, we'll see what happens with him. I think he absolutely loves this whole persona he's created for himself on the internet, and I don't see him giving it up anytime soon, even if the show doesn't allow him to reach the same heights as he did before. All I know is I'm still waiting for Peter PewDiePie's response to the Big Ed video's response to him, but I'm starting to think that may never happen. I wonder, I wonder why. 